So it's Tuesday, October 29th, 2019, like 1130 in the morning. I'm supposed to be in New York right now. I'm clearly in my fucking bedroom in Toronto. I miss my flight. It's fucked up. I've had the privilege of traveling a lot and I've only ever missed one flight before ever. And this whole ordeal is nothing in comparison to that story and it's just I've been thinking about it this morning and I'm like I have to tell people this story but it's kind of long but I promise you it's so fucked up you'll be like what I swear to you every single word of this is true so I need to roll down for this 2009 to 10 I spent three months in Thailand from like mid-November to mid-February <sighs> I was doing a Thai massage course there for about half the time and then spent the other half the time like on the beach. And I had stayed, when I was doing my Thai massage course, I had stayed at this one guest house in Chiang Mai for like a couple weeks, left, came back and stayed for a month. So the last day I was supposed to leave, um, I, so okay, sorry. I haven't really thought about how I'm going to tell you this story, but I want you to have all of the details. So, I was supposed to fly Chiang Mai to Bangkok, Bangkok to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, and I was going to spend three days there before flying to Melbourne, where I was going for like a weekend, then I was going to Sydney for a week, and then I was flying to Christchurch, where I had a working holiday visa in New Zealand. I was... It sounds like an expensive trip, but I was actually like, once I, all of that was paid for and I had already spent three months in Thailand, I didn't really have that much money, so I was planning to just get to Christchurch and like work immediately, which I did. But anyways, so it's the my flight from Chiang Mai to Bangkok's at 9.30 in the morning. The night before, a few of the other girls I had gone to massage school with were also leaving the next day, so we all went out for drinks. <sighs> Tell all the fucking bad stories start. Anyways, so we got drunk. And we were, I just remember dancing in this bar that we had been at a bunch of times. And all of our purses and bags were like at the table. And we were standing right next to it just like dancing or whatever. And I was like, oh, had the thought to have a cigarette. I haven't smoked in three months, by the way, but this is 2010. I was smoking a lot and you could smoke in the bar. So it was so sick when you're drunk. That's the best. Anyway, so I go through my purse and my smokes are gone. And I'm like, what the fuck? Somebody stole my smokes. That's bullshit. Grab my purse, go in and buy more smokes. Be right back. So I walk down the block to 7-Eleven, ask for a pack of Marlboro Lights. He's like, okay, it's however much. I'm like, okay, hang on. Fuck, my wallet's gone too. Like, I didn't even notice. I didn't even think to look for my wallet. I was just like, my smokes. Ugh. So I'm like, well, fuck. Never mind. Keep your cigarettes, sir. Thank you. I went back to the bar, back to the bartender to tell her that, like, I just had a bunch of shit stolen. And the person talking to her that I was waiting behind was like, yeah, my camera just got stolen. It's like, somebody just went through that bar, bing, 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 and fucking dipped. So I'm like, okay, I had just taken out a bunch of money, Malaysian dollars, I don't know what they're called. That was in my wallet, that was all gone. A bunch of cash was also all gone. My debit card, my credit card. I left my passport at my place and a bit of cash, or like some cash, because earlier that day, I had to settle my bill from the place I'd been staying for a month, eating at the restaurant, they'd been doing my laundry, I was losing a shit ton of money. So I took out like, a lot of money, paid them, changed some to Malaysia, whatever. So I like lost some cash, but I still had some. So I just had to go cancel my credit card and debit card. So I'm drunk. <laughs> I walk back to my hotel. I have the shittiest Thai phone. It's 2010, okay? This is not like iPhone times. This is like a Siemens. Like it's like this big with those fucking hard push buttons. I was trying to think of how I knew what number to call for RBC customer service and I'm pretty sure because I was traveling pre like internet convenient days like I would go to internet cafes and shit. 
but I didn't have like Google Maps on me all the time and shit like that. So like important numbers, important information, I would like write it all down before I left and have it. So I had my RBC number like written down somewhere. So I call RBC, I'm like in my hotel room pacing around like, it was a pretty sobering experience, but I'm still like a little bit drunk. It's probably like three, four in the morning. Say three, three thirty. I like finally get everything canceled and or like whatever reported lost and stolen and I'm like fuck I have to be up in like two hours to catch this flight like I better just like get to bed set like five alarms I'm like I'm just like gonna go to the bathroom and go to bed so this is the next most fucked up thing. This is actually maybe the most fucked up thing of everything. So I go to the bathroom and there's like the sink, just like a porcelain sink on the wall right next to the toilet. I put my hand on the sink, not a lot of pressure, just to swivel around to sit on the toilet. And I swear to you, the sink fell off the wall. Just my, pre just the pressure, the light pressure of my hand. <laughs> Like, a chunk of it was left hanging, and the rest of it was smashed in fucking 7,000 pieces on the floor. I was just sitting on the toilet like, what the fuck just happened? Like, there's nothing I can do about this right now. And I felt terrible. Like, it was like a small guest house where I'd stayed for a month. I knew all the people that worked there. I was leaving for the airport in like two hours. I didn't really have money to pay them for this fucking sink ordeal and like everybody was sleeping like everybody that worked there like lived there too so I was like so the front desk opened at six so I was like it's I was like that was a next adrenaline rush I'm up until like almost five I'm like getting tired and just decide that I'm gonna like lay down for a few minutes and get up at six and go and talk to them about the sink <laughs> so I wake up at nine Fuck! Like, the sink's in fucking pieces. I, like, all of those fucking memories come flooding back. Like, my wallet. <laughs> no money, no cards. Oh! So I, f I was freaking out. I was like, I don't even know what to do. I don't know how long it took me to gather myself, but I went down to the front desk, and I was like, they were so surprised to see me because they knew I was supposed to have been gone already. They're like, what's up? I'm like, oh, I have to tell you some things. Like, first... My wallet got stolen last night. They're like, oh no, that's terrible. I was like, yeah, it was fucked up. But then I broke your sink off the wall. They're like, we heard a bang in the night. I was wondering what that was. I was like, that was me. They're like, that's okay. And they're like, what about your flight? I'm like, yeah, I slept in. I slept in. So I had so little money. Like just that bit of cash that I left at the hotel. So smart. So happy I did that. I went to this like tiny questionable travel agency, booked the cheapest 12 hour bus to Bangkok. So I was supposed to spend three days in Kuala Lumpur and I was just like, if I could just get to Kuala Lumpur for that flight to Melbourne in three days, like I don't care how I fucking get there, but I just need to get to Kuala Lumpur by this time. So she booked me like, yeah, this shit bus to Bangkok. So I had an extra night in Chiang Mai, another night in, um, Bangkok and I got my like cheap flight and <laughs> I was going to meet friends in Melbourne that's another crazy story I ended up like staying in the fucking fanciest hotel that weekend and I had less than a hundred dollars in my fucking pocket and no cards nothing and I was just like oh yes I belong here at Nobu yes mm -hmm. anyways so fucked up how fucked up is that there was something else I wanted to say about that what happened? Oh yeah, my night in Bangkok. <laughs> I it was like the cheapest night. It was 165 baht for the night, which is like about five dollars, maybe just less even at the time. It was like the room was like just bigger than a single bed. It had like one mirror that somebody had drawn a mustache on and a tiny little table. And that was it. And it was sketchy as fuck. <sighs> Yo. <laughs> I'm happy I shared that with you. Oh, less than 10 minutes. Okay. So, now I don't feel so bad about missing this flight. I'm going to get in the same day. I cried enough, so they did it for free. And, uh, I'm about to spend the week with fucking Koala Puffs, Mac Dizzle, Silence Tippy, Izzy Blaze, McCarter Gets High, Sunny Days, 
Uh, and Wheezy Khalifa and Evil Evelyn. Those two girls I've never met before. I'm super excited to meet them and we are gonna have so much fun in Maine. Oh my god, I'll be there tonight at midnight. So I'm not sweating missing this flight. I didn't break a sink and I'm still gonna get there. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Do you have a more epic fucking miss your flight story than that? Like who fucking breaks a sink off the wall? I swear to god this is what I did. I like put my hand down and just like swiveled to sit on the toilet and fucking <laughs>